We often get asked something along the following lines. I've got a mark on my sensor's absorber. How do I know if it's damaged? Occasionally, a laser beam with a particularly high power or energy density can cause a visible burn mark on the absorber surface of a sensor. Uh, if the absorber surface is obviously damaged, then the sensor will need to be sent into a service center for repair. Sometimes, though, we might see a visible mark that's not so obviously problematic, but it's there. How do we know whether or not a mark means that a sensor is damaged and needs servicing? We're going to look at a few examples now. In this example, we don't need to think too hard. Now, here in this example, you can also see a damaged disc, uh, this time caused by what looks like a sharp object scratching across the absorber surface. In this example, we can see a burn mark that has discolored the absorber, but only on a very small spot, which I'm highlighting here with a pointer. In other cases, though, we might have a discoloration that has a very low contrast. Uh, in this example here, we see the discoloration, so clearly visible light is absorbed differently by it than by the surrounding absorber material. But maybe at some other wavelengths, where the application is perhaps, the effect might be weaker. Here we can see an even subtler example. How do we decide if these cases are damaged or not? We generally define damage as a change in the absorber that results in a 1% or more change in reading. The simplest test is to direct your laser, as I'm doing here with the pointer, near the mark and then on the mark and compare the two readings. If the difference between the two readings is more than about 1%, you'll want to send the sensor in for servicing.